In the season of math students, welcome to math test number 78. We're going to use graphing to solve systems of linear equations. So a system of linear equations is when you have two equations where you're trying to find the solution that fits both of those equations. So we just start off by graphing. So y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. So start at negative 4, uh, go up 2, 1, 2, and right 3, 1, 2, 3. Uh, I can't go up 2, right 3, and I can't go down 2, right 3 either. So there's my line critically important today that we draw these lines all the way through the graph because ideally they're going to intersect if we draw them correctly. Uh, so our next graph, uh, start at positive 1 and then our slope says go down 1, right 1. So down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1. Oh, look at that. Down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1. You'll notice it intersects the graph, right? We can also go up 1, right, left 1, up 1, left 1. Sorry about the heat going on. And so here's our line. So our solution for this system of linear equations lies at the intersection. That coordinate is 3, comma, negative 2. Uh, and obviously you have multiple choice here, right here. So C is your answer. And if you plug in to both of these equations, you'll notice that you'll get a true statement. Watch what I'm talking about. I take my xy combo of 3, negative 2, and I plug it into my first equation, right? I get... Uh, negative 2 is equal to 2 thirds 3 minus 4. If I do a little math here, negative 2 is equal to 2 thirds uh, times 3, that's 6 over 3, that's 2. 2 minus 4, negative 2 equals negative 2. That's a true statement. That's how I know it's a solution, right? Uh, same thing here. I take 3, 2, I plug it into my second equation. I've got uh, negative 2 uh, is it's minus x, and I had a positive 3, so negative 3 plus 1, uh, so negative 2 is equal to negative 2. It's a true statement. So I know that the point 3 comma negative 2 is a solution to both those equations. All right, let's take a look at number 2. We might be a little bit different here. So our first one, we start at negative 1, and we go up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, or down 1, left 2. All right, so that's going to be our first line. And now we go to our second one. All right, so we start at negative 2 this time. And we go up 1, right 2, and you might think, oh, it intersected there. No, no, it didn't. It's right there. Up 1, right 2. Hmm, still didn't intersect. Okay, down 1, left 2. Hmm, down 1, left 2. Hmm, wait a second. If I draw these lines, they never intersect, right? Uh, and a name for lines that never intersect, they are parallel lines, right? If I went on for infinity, uh, they would never touch. Um, and that makes sense. Uh, here's why. They have the same exact slope, right? Same slope. But they have a different starting point, a different y-intercept. Think about a race, right? If I'm going 20 miles an hour and my opponent's going 20 miles an hour, but my opponent gets a little bit of a head start, we'll stay the same distance apart the entire time. We'll never pass each other or never meet at a point, right? So, because these two lines never intersect, we have no solution, meaning there is no point, no point that is a solution for both equations. We have many points for each equation, but none that works for both. Both equations. Okay? So today only, you're going to have either one solution where they do meet each other or no solution where they don't meet each other. Um, and now you have the rest uh, 3 through 10 to go ahead and graph. So if the lines intersect, you have that solution. Find that point that is their solution. If the lines do not intersect, um, they will have no solution. And, and here's the hint. You know if they don't have, they, they won't intersect if they have the same slope. If they ever have the same slope and a different y-intercept, they're never going to touch. Therefore, they're never going to be a solution. Um, but if they have different slopes, like 1 4th x and negative 3 over 2x, eventually they will meet. Right? Best of luck. Once you are done, uh, make sure you're getting I ready my path done. Uh, two lessons for math, two lessons for reading. If you're sitting there saying, oh, I've got both done, you can always do a little extra more. It won't hurt you.